And my wife, my daughter, and myself, um, we came here seven years ago. And uh, I'm from Venezuela, we are from Venezuela. Uh, I got a bachelor degree in economic, she does too. We came here because my father lived uh, here in Kingwood. I went to school here in Lone Star Co College to get a, a teacher certification. Program director called me and she said, I got an opportunity for you in Livingston. I didn't know it was Livingston, but I just took it. So I came, I've been teaching in Pine Ridge Elementary for six years. My oldest, Daniela, she's nine years old. She's gonna be in fourth grade next year. And my little one, Matthew, uh, he was born here. He's gonna be in pre-K next year. We attend to the Central Baptist Church. I'm part of the worship team, worship music team. I'm a musician, a professional musician. I started guitar when I was a child too. And uh, I'm involved here in, in Livingston with the um, Livingston Jazz Band. I do private lesson, guitar private lesson. And, uh, and I also play with a band in Houston, um, different kind of music. Uh, that one particularly is uh, Gary Michael Daw, and I play uh, jazz and Caribbean music. And we play in different places in town. And also I play with uh, different artists from um, Venezuela and other countries who came here and I've been having the opportunity to perform and play with them. I was ready to go back to school two years ago and um, I contacted the, uh, the office who was working with my papers and they told me um, we haven't done it. And uh, I was in shock in that moment. I didn't know what happened. And they just told me, well, you have to go back to Venezuela. Wow, that was... I was in shock. My family was in shock too. Uh, we restarted the process, refilled the forms, resubmitted to the entity. Everybody was involved. Uh, my friends, the church family, the school, uh, everybody knew about the uh, situation. Also the congressman who represent us, the state representative, all of them, uh, they were trying to push them, uh, to push uh, forward uh, the process. But I have to stop teaching back in December. Uh, I couldn't uh, go back to school because my, my paper uh, expired. Uh, it was really hard. And at this point, we, uh, uh, we just pray every day, stay positive, and be uh, uh, ready to overcome any, any situation. Because you don't know that until you realize that um, you're starting to, to think that you don't have nothing. No job, no money, uh, but you have hope. We went to Trinidad because the situation in Venezuela uh, is really dangerous at this point. Economically and politically, they have a crisis down there. And it's even worse every day. We took the option and we went to Trinidad and Tobago. It's a nice place. It's a vac vacation island. And uh, we were able to get a short vacation because we thought that we were going to be there only two weeks. One week vacation, the other week get the papers and come back home. But it wasn't that way. It took six weeks to get the papers done. So we were desperate. I didn't take my guitar. And uh, this, this is something that I do when I'm, I'm stressed, under stress. It's a daily thing for me. I didn't take it. So I'm a runner. Uh, I, I ran a marathon two years ago. And uh, I've been running for a while. So I did run every day, every morning, almost twice a day. But my kids, Danielle and Matthew, they were under stress too, and my wife. And the kids, Matthew, one day he told me, hey, I want to I wanna go back home. I wanna, I'm so, so desperate to ride my bike. <laughs> so that was something, and it was it's letting me know that something was happening, of course, with him. He realized that we were on, on vacation, and now we're stuck in Trinidad and Tobago. Daniela, she's older. Yeah, she's, um, she's a bright person. She was telling me, uh, okay, we already did this. 
we uh, submit the document. Why we are not able to get him back soon? What's going on? Start those, those kind of questions. So I had to be uh, very careful uh, what I was um, sharing with them uh, at this point because it was something that they, they, they didn't know. I didn't know the answer either. It was just a process. And I spent time uh, praying and setting my goals. Because at this point that you don't have nothing, you have a clear vision what's going to happen. If this is good, I can plan. But if not, I have to plan anyway. Uh, at this point, everything is, uh, is in the right track now. We're going to become a permanent residence. Uh, it's going to take a year, that process. Work. And then we're going to be able to become a citizen. And we are so thankful to be here, to be part of the community. Uh, I know that this opportunity God is gave, uh, gave us that opportunity a long time ago. Uh, Livingston is going to be my town, um, Texas my state, and, and the United States my country, because um, God let me do that. So he showed me the way. So we are so thankful for that.